सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट गाइस कॉन्सेप्ट आर्ट सीन विद यूजिंग गाइस आई एम नॉट यूजिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी एड ऑन सी गाइस दैट माय कंपोजिशन इट्स लुकिंग रियली ब्यूटीफुल एंड नाउ गाइस आई टीच यू हाउ आई क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ इफेक्ट एंड गाइस आई शो यू माय फाइनल रेंडर प्रीव्यू सी गाइस दैट्स माय ब्यूटीफुल ग्लो फाइनल रेंडर प्रीव्यू एंड गाइस नाउ आई शो यू माय डे लाइट render see guys that's my daylight and second one that's my night view right see guys that's really simple and best tutorial for beginners guys so guys go to on blender and that's my composition so guys i create new composition so new check so first of all guys select all and press delete key yeah so guys now i'm going to take a landscape this one and guys i changed landscape presets so go to on here and landscape mountain to okay, that's my mountain to and guys see that's my random seed check and guys i take like a 10 yeah right see okay so guys now i change also scale size so guys select this landscape and that's my scale size like a 3 3 and 3 yeah and next one guys i take uv sphere so guys go to on add and use uv sphere and i change radius radius guys change like a 0.2 is good yeah 0.2 and guys right click guys shade smoother okay so guys select your landscape and height and next one guys i take torus so torus check and guys i change torus size see guys that's my radius change like a guys and radius this one yeah it's good and see guys that's my segments so guys wireframe check wireframe here and increase segments see guys that's my segments increase like a 120 and segments increase like a 60 is good 60 yeah see guys that's good and next one guys select your uv sphere little bit up little bit yeah that's it guys right okay so now guys this time i apply more torus so i take more so guys torus check and increase size size increase and radius change like a 0.0.01 and the more 0.001 yeah like 5 yes right see guys that's my radius 0.005 and guys this time radius like a one guys smaller yeah good and guys duplicate so press control c and v increase and one more time copy so scale size increase yeah see guys that's my simple object and guys now you can also increase this time this one radius so guys go to on edit mode edit your yeah, guys shortcut command is alt s and increase yeah that's it yeah great okay so guys now so guys now i apply material so guys for material i use blender kit add on that's free add on so guys see that's my blender kit and that's my material and type lava enter yeah that's my lava material and guys i apply this one sphere like this and guys click on here render pv check yeah right see and guys rotate this sphere rotate randomly like this yeah good right okay so guys now this time second one i apply material for this one that's my torus so guys go to on here and guys i use displace this one and guys create new and guys see that's my coordinate to use uv and guys strength i like 0.1 enter yes and guys go to on texture guys i apply js displacement texture so guys go to on here texture and open Guys, I have JS displacement texture. 
and render same five five enter and guys click on here yes see guys that's my js displacement texture like a science friction effect and guys wireframe uncheck yes great right it's looking really good and now guys for that's my only tutorial part so guys viewport level i like only four for fast preview okay so next one guys i apply texture so go to on shading and closer guys i apply color texture so guys create new and guys select your principal bsdf i press ctrl t yeah and guys select your image texture i apply same texture color one see guys that's my color texture and import yeah and guys i change same uv so see guys that's my scale size so four and one and one yeah good right okay so next one guys go to a metallic metallic i like one and roughness 0.3 that's my metallic part yes and next one guys all is good and guys this time i apply guys select this one and shift d yes and guys i take color ramp color ramp and select and now guys see that's my second texture i apply dotted grid so select and open and now guys select connect to color and this color i'm connect to emission and emission strength i like 20 yes and guys i change scale size like a six and two guys more change i like eight and one guys more so guys go to on here color ramp and guys go to on here yes and guys select so guys white color to change orange like a hue 0 0.024 and 1 yes and guys increase like a 2 yeah much better right see guys that's my dotted grid okay so guys next one i apply this time emission color so, so guys select your this one and I apply emission. So guys create new material. So surface. So use emission and color. Guys firstly orange like a blue 0 0.6 and 1. And strength I like 20. And guys material like a blue. Glow. Enter. So guys select third one. And I apply same blue color. Yes. And guys select mid one. And guys same emission. So color orange color 0 0.024 and saturation 1 enter guys strength I like 20 enter yes see guys that's my composition right it's good okay so guys go to on layout and guys this time guys select your spare guys now I create grouping so select your first spare and select all objects like this and press control t and guys object check yes see guys that's my grouping right and see guys right okay so guys now go to on here landscape landscape uncheck and guys this time i take camera and guys camera check so guys camera go to on back yes guys radius guys rotation so 90 0 and guys 0 and 0 enter so guys press 0 guys set your camera angle so select your camera and y position change z1 change like this little bit back yeah good okay so guys now select your spare and guys go to on up and rotate rotate like this 
that's good and guys go to on left side yeah good see guys that's my composition and go to little bit back yes it's good right see guys that's my composition and next one guys go to on here that's my texture guys select your spare so guys now you can change this one spare material uv so guys go to on shading and guys select your spare so object this one that's my spare so guys go to on mapping see that's my mapping and scale size i like two two and two yeah see guys that's really good right it's good and next one guys you can also change like a three three and three is good yeah much better right see okay so guys go to on layout yeah that's my spare is good and next one guys duplicate this pair so select your spare and guys select hierarchy and press ctrl c and v yeah that's my second one so go to on back side so press zero and guys go to on front up and rotate rotate like this yes and guys scale size smaller and go to back little bit back yes and guys press zero yeah see guys that's my composition right and little bit down yes all is good see guys that's my composition and next one guys i apply grass and tree on this one landscape so guys go to on here and guys select your landscape and go to on object so apply and use all transform check yeah that's it and next one guys i use free add-on free biome reader add-on this one that's on free add-on so guys select and click on here and guys biome reader add-on check and guys i apply different different style of grass so guys go to down and guys you can apply any grass pattern like this one brush to so apply and guys press ok yeah see guys that's my grass effect so guys press zero yes and now guys you can also change some objects see guys that's my death leaf so scale size like a 0 0.2 yes and guys see that's my grass so grass scale size change like a 0 0.4 is good and density like a 500 yes and see guys that's my tree see that's my tree right that's my tree and guys second one that's my rock effect so rock so guys density i like increase to and guys you can change random seed is depend on your work okay so guys scale size change scale size like a 0 0.3 and density increase like a 3 guys more change yeah it's looking good right and also guys select your pine tree that's my tree and scale size change so like a 0 0.2 is good 0 0.2 yes much better right see guys that's my some composition and next one guys i apply more effect so guys biome reader add on check so guys now go to on here biome scatter and open biome check and i apply more grass so guys go to down and guys i apply this one grass 11 so check yeah it's good okay so guys now i change also grass settings so select and guys scale size same 0 0.2 and increase like a density 1000 and see guys that's my flower flower size change like a 0 0.3 and second one white flower yeah and guys select red one like a 0 0.2 yes and density increase like a 500 yes and second one guys white flower density 500 yes really good see guys that's my beautiful composition right okay so guys my composition is really good and now guys go to a render setting guys i use cycle render 
and device GPU check. Can I see that's my render and max M256. Yes, that's it, guys. Okay, so guys, now I apply this time lighting. So, guys, for lighting, I use simple area light. So, guys, go to a light and area light check. And guys, go to an up. Yes, and guys, press 7. That's my top view panel. And guys, select your light on this one object and increase size. So, guys, go to a light. And guys, see that's my size. I like 3. And guys, press 1. Yeah, all is good. And next one, guys, I change color like a blue 0 0.6 saturation 1. And guys, power 500. Enter. And next one, guys, duplicate this light. So press Ctrl C and V. So go to on here and little bit up. That's my side light. And guys, go to on here and little bit rotate. Guys, rotate this light. Rotate like this. Yeah, it's good. And guys, I change color. So select your second light. Color, orange color, like a 0 0.024. Enter. Yeah, that's my orange color. And lastly, guys, select your first light and duplicate. Press Ctrl C and V. Press 7. So, guys, second, third light, apply on this one, object, press 0, yeah, that's it, guys, right, it's looking really good, and, guys, select your light, and little bit up, yeah, that's it, guys, okay, so now, guys, this time, lastly, I apply fog effect, so go to on shading, here, and, guys, click on here, and object to change word, and, guys, go to back, See guys, that's my background. And guys, I use this time principal volume. So guys, select your principal volume, connect to surface, actually volume, volume to volume, and density 0 0.2. And color, guys, I like blue color, 0 0.6, saturation 0 0.8, yeah. See guys, that's my blue color, yeah. And guys, click on here, that's my layout, and press 0. And now, guys, I show you my render preview. So, guys, click on here. Yeah, see, guys, that's my beautiful composition. Right? That's really good for night view. Okay, so, guys, now I show you my glow effect. So, guys, click on here. And, guys, render and render image check. Guys, I show you how to create glow effect on objects. Okay, so guys, my render is finished. It's looking really good. And now, guys, I apply glow effect on this ring. So close and go to on compositing. And guys, see, that's my use node check. And next one, guys, I apply this time glare. So guys, search and type glare. Select and guys, connect to this one image glare yeah and guys next one i like view select and guys connect to image to image like this yeah and guys see that's my glow effect so use glow and guys see that's my size i like nine enter yeah great and guys one more time go to on here render and see guys that's my final render and so use view node check. Yes. See guys, that's my beautiful glow effect. It's looking really good. That's my final render. Right. And go to an image and save your image. So go to a desktop image save. Yes. Okay. So guys, that's it. My final work is finished. It's looking really good and really simple guys. Okay. So guys, now you can download this project file from my website. It's free. And that's my free add-on. Okay, so guys, if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.